Okay, so there are two big frameworks in Python. But before we talk about frameworks, let's talk about web development in general. Okay. Um, web development has to do with developing things on the web, everything you see online. And the main one of the main things I want to kind of touch on is websites versus web apps, okay, or basically like solutions to problems. So regular websites, I want you to think of like, um, imagine, I don't know, your regular contact me pages, your restaurant websites that are super boring and just, I don't know, have like static stuff on it. You can't really do much there. You just go, you just read their menu, that's really it. Or it maybe has some dude's phone number and you can call them or email somebody. That's your static website. But those things you can build in WordPress or Squarespace. If you guys are not familiar with these, open another tab and type this in so you can learn or write these down so you can learn them later. Yeah, actually don't open other tabs right now. I want you guys to pay attention right here to me and uh, just write this down and then later you can open up other tabs and uh, do this, okay? So WordPress is basically like a point and click build a website. Squarespace is a point and click build a website thing. Wix and Weebly similarly. Those things people don't pay you a lot for. Those are commodities. You can have a 12 year old learn it very quickly. And um, and also a lot of those are outsourced and there are a lot of people that can do them, okay? So any skill that's easy to do, you're not gonna get paid for, okay? But a skill that takes a lot of time and is difficult, you're gonna get paid for it and quite a bit because it's hard to replace you. Like right now, and think about this, where you are working, how easy do you think it is to replace you? If the answer is pretty easy, then it probably also makes sense what you're getting paid, right? So if you think you're getting paid some low income and then you think that it's not that hard to replace you, put the two and two together and the reason why you're probably making a lower income is cause that it's easier to replace you. But now as you start to get more specialized and as you learn more skills, it's harder to replace you, okay? So generic websites that you can build with web, web uh, WordPress or whatever, they're not too hard to do. So you don't get paid much for it. But the things that you do get paid for is for example, and I'm gonna use big company names so it, you guys can tie that in your head. But most of the times when you're starting out, you don't have to work with these big companies. You can get started with a lot smaller companies that are under the radar and are trying to get their foot off the ground and get going. But with the things that you get paid for is, for example, like Spotify is a music streaming problem. And if you can solve it, that's something you can get paid for. So that's like a web app. How about Domino's, right? Where you can go and it'd be really boring if the pizzas, just pictures of them were there and you just had to call them and order something. But it's pretty dynamic. You have to click on it, you can order, you can increase your order, you can change your order. And when you're in their app, when you put mushrooms on your pizza, you can choose if you wanna put half on one side and half on the other. Um, you can choose what's your quantity, you can delete and you can remove. So for all of those things and being able to add that functionality, that's a solution to a burning problem and the developers that got hired to do that would get paid a lot. Same thing with Snapchat. There's a huge networking problem there to fix. How do you have all these people in the world sending each other pictures, it goes fast, it doesn't crash the entire website and they're able to send pictures and videos like instantly, boom, boom, boom. How do you do that without your servers being overloaded? Right. And here's a word I'm going to give you guys. It's called crud. So write that down. That's one of the things you have to know about as a web developer and be able to do pretty fast. Crud. C R U D in caps. Crud means read. 
It means create, just making sure you guys are paying attention. It means create, read, update, and delete. Okay, four things. I don't know why I do it like I'm in Germany. In the United States, we do it like this, four. But I think it's just cooler when I do when I do three like this, I think it's really cool. So I'm gonna keep doing it. But that's what that means, okay? Crud, create, read, update, delete, write that down next to you. Uh, on a piece of paper, preferably. And what that has to do with is I'll give I'll give you examples of where it's applied. When you're when you're in Domino's app and you're trying to create an order, for those of you guys who don't know Domino's, Domino's is a company that delivers pizzas. They solved a pizza problem. Okay. When you create an order for a pizza, that's what part of the crud. I'm not going to quiz you guys. When you create the pizza, what part of crud do you think that is? Is it the C? Is it the R? Is it the U or the D? Okay, so that's the create part. Now, what about being able to, let's say you put that order, but now you want to change that order. Okay, now you want to make that order something different. What part of the crud do you think that is? When you've already created the order, but now before hitting checkout, you're like, I don't want pepperonis on my pizza. I just want some green peppers and jalapenos. What part of crud is that? That's the update part, all right? And before I go further, for those of you guys who are like, what are we doing? Da, 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 da. Web developers get paid $110,000 a year. And believe it or not, this is one of the things that is massively helpful. And right now, I know I'm having you just like kind of learn it and regurgitate and memorizing. It's like, oh, it doesn't make sense. But I promise you, um, right after we're done with this, I'm going to kind of give you examples. I'm going to be giving you examples of it. And this is this is going to be one of those things that saves you years of your time and also helps you. Now it's researchable for you. So you can actually look at online tutorials, be able to do this and get those jobs that pay you a lot. And you don't need years of experience to get these web development jobs like in my PLC 2 or my video 2 part 2 of the master class okay that got launched it's called why most programmers are broke in that one i also share with you what things i was working on and what client paid me $20,173.30 for 2 months of work and it was pretty much just me knowing crud and working on it so now Let's continue forward so you guys know, you guys have it in your mind why this can be actually really important and helpful for you. All right. Now, when I am, let's say, last one. Let's just do last one. And this is so obvious. If I don't want my pizza anymore, I'm just angry. I don't like, I just called Domino's service and uh, that lady just didn't have the right attitude. She just pissed me off, rubbed me the wrong way. And I'm like, all right, all bets are off and I go and I hit X on that order, what part of the crud did I just do? It's the delete part. So if I delete my order, I've deleted. So again, crud, create, read, update, and delete, okay? And lastly, I wanna give you an example of the read part. What if you have ordered your pizza, but you don't know what the heck you ordered, and then you go click view order, what part of crud is that? Create read update delete what part of the crud is that you being able to go oh what the heck where what what pizza did i order you know clicking that view button best development frameworks in python there's django and then there's flask write that down i'm going to come back to that point okay what we're talking about is the big picture view of web development we're talking about how much python web developers get paid so according to indeed.com, if you look at it right now, average Django Python developer makes $110,610 every single year. And one of the key concepts their entire job could be summarized in is with one word, crud, okay? So say it with me. What the crud? I get paid $110,000 a year for crud? What the crud? It's crazy. 
So if you've written down crud, if you've written down Django, if you've written down Flask, all these things you guys can research later. Also, Python web developers and how much they make, you could research later. Um, we've talked about WordPress and Squarespace being able to build boring sites, but Python can help you build web apps, okay, that can provide solutions. These are not things that you could just do in Squarespace and, you know, point and click. These are things that you have to use real powerful programming languages for to solve problems, thing, problems with things like Dropbox, cloud storage problem solved with Python, YouTube video sharing problem solved with Python. I've already talked about Spotify, Reddit, a social network for sharing links and threads, and I don't even know, it's very complicated for me, but Reddit was a social problem solved with Python. Instagram, similarly, a photo sharing problem solved with Python. So you can see that these massive companies are using it, Google, a search engine problem solved with Python. Okay, so you have to build really custom solutions for it. And ultimately, again, it comes down to crud. All right, it comes down to kind of one thing.